Hey YouTube, wanted to give you guys a rundown on the project gun on the Crossman 2240 Custom. This is a Christmas present for my future Olympic shooter, my daughter. Six year old daughter wants a pellet gun for Christmas. So that's what got me off on the pellet gun jag, in case you were all wondering. Why is he so obsessed with pellet guns? Because I'm making her a custom one. Here's some super thin small grips from Chechen that I made to fit her hand. And here's a short pull stock which can replace one of the grips. See it's got the same same pattern, you know, just snaps right onto the pistol. Okay. I polished up all the parts that needed to be polished. I went after this again. I started at 220, ended at 600, and hit it up with uh, the buffing wheel. It's much better than it was before. Before it was uh, foggy looking. Now it's really, 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 really shiny. Just like the barrel. Same thing. Barrel is 200 to 600 metal polish. Very nice. Went ahead. Uh, this is going to get a uh, new seal. Should be coming in in a day or two. And uh, so I went ahead and polished the body of that up. Don't think I'm going to need to open that up. The O-ring look good on that. Polish the end cap, of course. And then I did some paint work. Painted this band. I took the uh, flashing mark out of it. Painted it so it'll look nice. Here's the uh, grip frame. It's all painted up. Ready to be assembled. And uh, I've got a variety of little parts that I dressed. And if you've watched any of my other videos you know about polishing the hammer. So here's the polished hammer and the polished sear. And this is the old style brass trigger which is kind of pretty. And I'm going to put it together and tune it up. May have to shim it, may have to shim the sear a little bit and stuff like that because I noticed it was just hitting on the edge of the uh, trigger. And that's uh, almost it, except for this lovely item. I turned down the probe on this bolt and polished it up. Again, it's going to get a new seal, get a new O-ring, and uh, refresh that. And uh, then, of course, it'll get a new uh, transfer port seal. And I'm getting a fiber optic sight to replace this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on my gun or let her use it. Depends on how much she shoots, I guess, huh? And so, there you have it. Haven't messed with the plastic breech. It's just what it is. And so, the project gun is coming along. And when I get the seals, and uh, a little ball bearing to replace the tiny ball bearing I lost, because I didn't know that there was a ball bearing in there. We're stuck in part. <laughs> So, i got a ball bearing, some seals coming, and then I'll be able to put the gun completely together and test it. So I hope you find that interesting. This is Santa's workshop up here on Little Mountain, putting together.